so we've had our first major problem during this build. Everything's been going really, really well. Uh, I'm really, really happy with how everything's turning out. There's, there's plenty of red lines. There's plenty of things that need to be fixed. But honestly, that's always the issue. There's, there's always more. There's always the next thing. But the major issue that we had has to do with this new part. The problem that we had in the old tower, version one, is that the way we mounted all the emitters, they were all mounted on stainless steel posts and they're pointing up or at different angles and we could never guarantee the angle. It meant that we had really uh, inconsistent coverage, spray coverage inside the grow volume. So to fix that, we designed, I designed, uh, <laughs> God and I designed this part. Um, this is what I call a spray guide and its purpose is to receive water, well, push to connect, and then the emitters uh, mount into it. This one, this one bad, it actually, when I put the uh, threads in I messed it up that's why this one's sitting here anyway you put the emitters in and they're all held at very specific angles where I actually optimize this via CAD to uh, again for those who are watching yes those threads are bad those are <laughs> poor thread job that's why they go in so easy um, the good ones they actually thread in but I, they end up looking like little turtles so that's kind of their nickname is turtle but their proper name is spray guide and these are optimized angles for this grow deck. It's all great, except for I 3, 3D printed them and I was thinking, hey, this, will, this should work fine. Uh, but when I got them into the grow volume and actually uh, turned on the water, barely came out of the emitters. So I went back to the way that I had uh, the version one towers plumbed and I got really good spray, uh, but I don't have the angles. So. I immediately freaked out. I sent uh, the SDL file, the model file for the uh, part, to my local machine shop. It's been four hours. I still haven't heard from them. And then I realized, you know what? I got a bunch of one-inch stock. Why don't I see if I can adjust this design? Maybe I can use the CNC machine to make it with my drill press and everything. So I went into SolidWorks, and that's exactly what I did. I modified it to one-inch stock and now I have it out on the CNC machine and I still haven't heard from the machine shop. They're probably not gonna get back to me. So again, this, this machine is paying for itself very, very rapidly, just like the 3D printer did. Um, I also took one of these and I have it in the dehydrator right now annealing, heating it up to about 167 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is not hot enough to melt it, but it is hot enough to change its structure internally and we're gonna see if that makes a difference at all. But really, honestly, I'm going for the CNC machine. It's the most complicated cut that we've done. It's gonna take a while, but let me go show you it. So these towers are gonna to look Great. There's things that I definitely want to change. The color scheme on the tanks, we're going to go to black tanks uh, everywhere. I expected the plastic to be a lot more opaque than it is. It's very translucent and it lets a lot of light through, which is not good from an algae perspective. It's fine for this tower. It actually looks really nice, um, but we need to go to black. And uh, the whole thing might end up being black anyway, just because of the way dirt shows up on white. It's been a great build so far. It's going to take quite a while for these uh, parts to cut. And if everything goes well, then today I should have those parts in here and we'll actually get this thing shipped. We got boxes and we're going to be shipping our very first one officially to Texas uh, where it will be on display and be used to help us raise funds for our company. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, ring that bell so you get notified when I put out new videos. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. In the meantime, this is Real Martian, out.